Hey Sneaky Linux back again today. Today we're back with Solus OS. This is release candidate three, okay? Number three. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Now he's made some more alterations to Solus and the good ones are is the installer is a lot better, quicker, faster, and looks nice. Very, very nice indeed. Yes, I like it. anyway. And he's played around with it and some bits and bobs are very, very good. So we're gonna go quickly through it. I've just done a few already of Solus, but as you can see, it's been changing all along the way. Oh yes, all along the way. Then bottom time and dates and all stuff like that. Messages and my volume, my internet. That's okay. And on the screen we have computer, my home, and my waste basket. Hmm, could be rubbish, really, couldn't it? And the menu. Nice, nice, nice. Changed it slightly. Not sure if I like the colour, but hey, don't shoot me. I'm only the messenger. So under all, of course, you get everything. Then places, home, and all that. Oops, see how quick it is as well. I don't know what he's done. It's got even faster. It's too fast for my mouse, actually. Home, desktop, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, my network, connect to server, rubbish bin. Oh, I like it already. It's nice. Okay. Accessories. Get your usual archive manager, calculator, get it, root terminal, search for files, take a screenshot, and a terminal again. Right, under graphics, we get genuine, genuine paint, G G T hum or G thumb, and simple scan. All the basics that you need. Okay, under internet, Dropbox is standard, Firefox for your web browser, Thunderbird, Pigeon, and XChat, and Office is Libra Office 3.5. So I can open the writer just to show you how quick it really is. Five, four, three, two, one. See, I mean, zoom, just zoomed along there like a zoomy thing. Comes up all right. Nice, I like it. You will have to get more fonts, obviously, if you don't like the fonts that are supplied with LibreOffice, but as you know, they're really easy to install. Really, really, really easy. You know, I shouldn't have to show you, you should know how to do all that. Anyway, back to Office again. You get a dictionary as well, there's nothing else in there. The download ain't too large, but it's larger than normal, so it's a DVD size download, okay? Right, sound and video. So here's where you've got quite a few bits and bobs here. Brazero, Cheese, Gnome M Player, Minitube, so there's a Gnome. Sorry, mini tube, not going to know. So if I put me in, I'm there. And it comes up with some of my stuff, as you can see. I scroll down. Should we play one? No, I don't know. We could do, couldn't we? We'll just let this one play. Let's play. So you can't, it's got headphones plugged in, so sorry about that. But yes, it all works super fine. Look, everything goes hunkily dory. Mini tube actually works on this distribution. Nice. Because quite a few it doesn't, does it? No, we all know that. Okay. Back to sound and video. Get a movie player. Open shot as standard. Now, before we go any further, you will need to install Blender if you want the animated titles to work. Okay? Blender. Okay. I've not actually set it up yet, but hey, you know what the score is. As we're doing tutorials on it now, aren't we? Yes, we are. But it's there for you to use. And if you don't want the animated titles, it will just work as it is out of the box. Okay? You get all your stuff for Pulse and stuff like that. Rhythm Box is your music player. It's my favourite anyway. Some of you may like Amrock and stuff like that. I just prefer Rhythm Box. Don't know why. It's just I've got used to it over the years. Sound Recorder and VLC Media Player to play basically any codec out there in the world. Under System Tools, you get the usual Configuration Editor. DJ Dub, Disk Analyzer. Come on, scroll down. I won't go through them all, really. I'll open the System Monitor up for you so you can see what's going down. As you can see, it's using 130 megs of my RAM. Only 130. And the CPU ain't really doing anything at all, so that's good for me. La, 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 la. Right, what else? That's basically it there. You also get the control center. So if I click here, about me, the usual Adobe Flash Player. Well, this works for me. I'm here, just change your preferences. Assistive technologies, the usual. Compies, custom settings managers, and all here. Desktop settings are all here. So I can click on desktop settings and you can fine tune everything you want to. So the windows you can do here as well. Don't show window content while dragging, blah, 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 blah. And the interface, etc. Okay. Right, back to the control, control center one more time. The first run wizard, when you first install the system, in theory, if it comes up again, this is what you get. So that tells you all about it. So if I go forward, it says five pages. The next one, my online status, etc., etc. My firewall settings, basic on this one. There we go. All hunky dory. Check for updates early. I've updated it anyway, so that's all nice. And donate. 
because you know he does a lot a lot of work and it does take a lot of stuff to get on down doesn't it and as usual i've installed this on three machines a laptop a standalone desktop and in virtual box all work super fine what can i say they just work very very good it's got so much better it is unbelievable just like the song obviously you can configure all your hardware from here as well add and remove software all that down there we can go down synaptic package managers here for me and you and add and remove software if we go to here and there we go lovely we get a little little like software center if we go to help and about it's gpk gpk application 2.30.2 for gnome nice so if we go to what should we go to just as i don't know, I don't know. go to graphics and i type in gimp okay and in theory, once we click find, it should help. But the, oh, there he is. So if I click here to install, and we're going to click apply. There it goes. It wants the extra packages. Yes, I can do that. No big deal. Once my password, of course. And basically, off it goes. Yes. I'm going to zoom. Waiting in queue. Reminds me of the Fedora one, this does really. Does it you? Yes. Well, it does me. You know. So anyway, we can basically wait there if we want to for all the stuff to download because it's only gimpy. We're going to go and open up. Go to internet. Open up Firefox while it's installing. Okay. Because you can do that sort of thing. There we go. Firefox opens up. Load it nice and large for you so we can see what we're doing. We'll click No there. And in my search bar, I'm going to go Solus. You could search for Solus, and here we are. Solus Home. No, that's not it. Solus Solus. Solus Solus. I'm going to put OS in there, aren't I? Blimey. Google, what's going down? There we are. Solus OS. This is when we're using Release Candidate 3. Works super duper. It came out a few days ago. So, you know, go and give it a go. If you've got a nice internet connection, it'll be no problem to install. Okay. Flash should work out of the box because it's solus. I want to run them. Okay. Runny, 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 run, 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 run. Is it going to run straight away for us? Is it or is it not? Is it or is it not? Is it or is it not? I don't think it is. So we'll close that. And we'll close that. And we'll go down to menu and graphics. And we'll see if it'll run from here. That's better. Now, see how quick that is. I don't know what you've done, Ike, but you've done good, boy. You've done good. He done an interview on the Linux Mint podcast two weeks ago. So if you want to hear more about Solus and what he does and what he wants to do and his goals, go and give it a listen. That's super fun. So there you go. Gimpy works. Obviously, if you go to Synaptic Package Manager, you can get all the extras for it here. From what I've seen so far, it's super of the duper. Solus OS Release Candidate 3 is going to be 91% because it is getting better and better and better. And by the time it comes to the full release, I expect it to be even supery dupery. Sneaky Linux going out. I see you later in Solus. Bye bye.